Hello and welcome back to the hideout. It's me, the guy who everyone in the neighborhood suspects of secretly being a vampire because I seem to age backwards and I can only be seen dressing like this. When in reality, I'm just cold all the time and just shaved my beard. I suppose I am a vampire in that I uh, sustain myself off the affections of middle-aged women. But uh, yeah, we're here for Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. This is a surprise gameplay. Um, I know I didn't announce that I was doing this one. I may have hinted at it. There's a character sheet? Answer a series of questions about the type of vampire you'd like to- Yeah, we'll do that. You're in a convenience store looking through the beer freezer. When all of a sudden a man walks in and pulls a gun on the cashier, do you sneak up behind him, disarm him, and proceed to beat him senseless? Or quietly make your way to the bathroom and lock yourself in? What's the third option? Third option is like, hey man. <laughs> you do you, man. I just want this beer. You did me a favor, actually. I'm just gonna walk out. Um, listen. This is like the, the cool guy answer. I don't know that I'm pulling up. I don't know if you guys have ever been shot or seen somebody get shot. I don't know that a couple of brewskis at the bodega is worth getting shot, man. I'm gonna go into the bathroom and lock myself in. You meet someone at the club and they took you back to their place. Things start to get interesting when all of a sudden you hear someone come in the front door, their spouse, do you? Now let me tell you something. As a guy that has been cucked on my birthday, no less, I should be sympathetic to the spouse here. See, none of these options are what I would actually do. Because I'd be like... I'd keep going, I'd be like, hey man, do you want to join us? But my second option would be to uh, slink out. And then I'd send bro a text later, I'd be like, hey man, your wife's at the club. It's late, you're at the red spot waiting for your microwave burrito. What is the red spot? Microwave burrito to heat up. There are three arcade games to waste some time on. Definitely a fighting game. A sniper game with a realistic gun for the controller. I do like sniping. A beat-em-up where you can pick up the bat and womp on hordes of generic thugs. Realistically, I would want to play either the fighter or the sniper. But I think for this game, I would probably want to just be able to just take out hordes of thugs, right? As you're walking home late at night, you hear footsteps. Glance back and suddenly realize someone is following you. Oh my god. How horrid. Me personally, I've had to deal with a stalker or two. Um... I'm not, I don't know that I'm turning to confront somebody who is crazy enough to be stalking me. I don't know if you guys know what kind of shit stalkers do in the name of quote unquote love, but I'm not confronting. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm very capable of handling myself in a situation, but that also means that I know to avoid the situation at all costs. I think like people who don't have a lot of experience with like fighting or getting into shit, the type that are like, yeah. Yeah, I'm taking him down, but listen, even in a couple fights, whether you win or lose, you like this is this is just stressful and not worth it, so I'm losing him. A bouncer at the opening of an exclusive nightclub won't let listen, I'll I don't need I don't need to read anymore. I, my ass is not going to the nightclub anyway. I'm staying at home and reading a book. A bouncer at the opening of an exclusive nightclub won't let you inside to party with all the beautiful people. Do you? Hide out by the back exit and slip in undetected. Everyone has got their price. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just slip in undetected. Your coworker recently badmouthed you to upper management and snagged a position that was rightfully yours. I mean, I'm a high charisma character IRL. You know what I mean? I'd probably be a bard, honestly. If we were playing, if if IRL was D&D, I'd probably be a bard. So we just charm. Get their... <laughs> yeah, that is me. <laughs> The world's a cruel and unforgiving place, but you've gotten by so far. Why? Um, I need a lot of... I, I live alone, but I, I don't think anybody can do anything uh, by themselves. I think no matter how much you like it or not, you rely on each other a lot. So uh, probably staying out of sight, laying low. <laughs> okay, I, I, okay, I thought this would happen. And I feel like, I feel like this is a bad role. For a first playthrough. I, f I feel like this is a bad role for a first playthrough. But I also suspected this because, I mean, this thing, this is genuinely how I walk around. This, like, classic Nosferatu thing is actually how I walk around. Damn. Okay, it's not how I want to play the game. Strength, dex, stamina, zero appearance. 
Perception, intelligence, wits. <laughs> oh my God, this guy sucks. This guy sucks. Zero charisma, zero manip. Dude, all right, I'm going to reroll. Forgive me, Nosferatu clan enjoyers. I'm simply going to reroll because I'm not a gamer enough to be handling this shit. Twisted and def... Oh my God. It's so bad, actually. Oh, all right, we're going back. <laughs> we're going back. But that is accurate. Like, that that actually is me. Okay, we're in the character creator now. Bruja? <laughs> what is a Bruja? <laughs> Bruja, I, do you guys know what that word is? Bruja are passionate idealists and rebels, more likely to fight for their rights than write protest songs. A lot of y'all need to be on that show right now. In life, most Bruja sought social change and in undeath, most clan members mostly seek the creation of a vampiric utopia. As militant radicals, they're renowned for their combat skills, but are also more likely to frenzy due to their hot bloodedness so to speak they receive plus one to brawl skills but are penalized okay they got black vampires in this game is crazy you guys can't see this hold on let me that's crazy wild loners most in tune oh they're wolves they're werewolves eh what the fuck is a malkavian okay i think this is one of the classes i've heard i shouldn't play but malkavians are known as lunatics because of their ability to hear voices of insight and subject others to their insanity through discipline. The world appears much different to the Malkavian than it does to the Saint. Oh, they're just insane. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I kind of always like playing, uh, I kind of like playing uh, insane characters that are psychic. Toreador picture themselves as artists and visionaries. They, and they value the high society mentality. They are beautiful creatures, svelte and seductive and move most effortlessly through the society of living. They're empathetic. All humanity shifts are doubled. What does that mean? The music is great so far. They transform from living mages into undying. They do magic. They oh, but they're stripped. They learn thaumaturgy, blood magic. Okay, and who are these guys? Honorable and virtuous leaders of the Camarilla. They wholeheartedly support the masquerade, influencing the mortal and undead worlds to help them maintain the masquerade as well as garner support for themselves. Special treatment. No, I think I want to play the these guys, right? Because that that is kind of. That is kind of the way I operate IRL is kind of just like, you know, I don't want to say it, but you know, girl is me for real. She's literally me. Okay. The Bob. Okay. All right. Fuck ass Bob for the win. All right. Good for you. Blood magic. I'm not a magician. I'm definitely, I'm definitely more of just like a uh, pretentious art school dropout. 100% true. Uh, and uh, people seem to want to touch my butt a lot so i'm specking high into charisma and manipulation because i would like to just talk my way through the game that's how i like to like that's what i love the most about bg3 is that it allowed me to do that telling the bosses to keep themselves safe keep yourself safe big demon and then he actually does really great really really top moment of the game for me subterfuge like stealth so i can like lock pick and stuff so just basically like a rogue bard build kind of the way i like to go the embrace the act of transforming a mortal into a vampire. All right, here we go. <laughs> Damn, off rip. I want to show you something. Is that me? Shout out to the tech, but Italian Stallion is a crazy name for condoms, dude. They got me geeking. Apologies for disrupting any business or interfering with prior engagements you may have had this evening. It's unfortunate that the affair that gathers us together tonight is a troubling one. 
We are here because the laws that bind our society, the laws that are the fabric of our existence, have been broken. As prince, I am within my rights to grant or deny the kindred of this city the privilege of siren. Many of you have come to me seeking permission, and I have endorsed some of these requests. Who is she? The accused that sits before you tonight was not refused permission. Indeed, my permission was never sought at all. So this guy is boss? Grace of this child. It pains me to announce the sentence, as up to tonight I considered the accused a loyal and upstanding member of our organization. But as some of you may know, the penalty for this transgression is death. Know that I am no more adjudicator than I am a servant to the law that governs us all. Let tonight's proceedings serve as a reminder to our community hmm. that we must adhere to the code that binds our society, lest we endanger all of our blood. Forgive me. Let the penalty commence. Golly! Which leads to the fate of the ill-begotten progeny. Without desire, most child are doomed to walk the earth never knowing their place, their responsibility, and most importantly, the laws they must obey. Therefore, I have decided that this is bullshit! Why are they mad? Bro kind of spitting to me right now. If Mr. Rodriguez would let me finish, I have decided to let this kindred live. Oh. They shall be instructed in the ways of our kind and be granted the same rights. Let no one say I am unsympathetic to the plights and causes of this community. I thank you all for attending these proceedings, and I hope their significance is, is not, not lost. lost. Good night. Prince. Is his name Prince or is he the Prince? Of all vampires and shit. Your sire, tragic. My apologies. But you see, must adhere to if we wish to survive. When someone, anyone breaks these laws. All right, bro. They the all right, bro, bro. <laughs> Bro's walking down the catwalk. Push, 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 push. Bro, he's got that shit on. Directly responsible for your subsequent behavior. I only pay attention. So, why does he walk like that? Good for you, dude. But the opportunity dude, everyone walks like this. The fate woven by your this is part of being a vampire. Catwalking. This is your trial. You will be brought to Santa Monica. There, you will meet an agent by the name of Mercurio. He will provide the details of your labor. I've shown you great clemency. Prove it was more than a wasted gesture, fledgling. Don't come back until you do. Good evening. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what a scene, man. Oh my god. Uh, what's his name? John DiMaggio or something like that? Dude, I love this voice actor. Yeah, who are you, man? I'm Jack. What's important is I'm offering help. You make it back from Santa Monica with your high full train life story, okay? Tell that I got about this much time. You win her out. Uh, yeah, you know what? Give me the basics. All right. Now, we ain't got much time, but I figure somebody should fill you in on the bare bones stuff at least. Could save your hide. You look wobbly. You even had a drink yet? No, I haven't. Dude, I love this voice actor. This being like my introduction to the game is awesome. Oh, man, we're popping a cherry here. It sure ain't. What do I do? Well, down around the corner there, I saw this human. Or I saw we can't find this car. <laughs> <laughs> so what do I? Right. You go down there casually. You creep up on him. You bear those little fangs and feed. The 
Don't worry if you weren't captain of the wrestling team or something. It'll come so naturally, you'll think you've done it a thousand times already. Won't he become a vampire? <laughs> Forget that comic book crap, kid. It don't work that way. How does it work then? Go for it. Be sure, though, and this is important, so listen up. Be sure not to train him dry, okay? It might be hard to resist, but don't, don't kill him. All right. This is my blood pool. It's the fuel for my vampiric powers. When it's low, you need to refill it. When it's in an alley around the corner. Okay. Once you've begun feeding on a victim, you see this bar? Stop. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Stop. Perfect. Interesting, okay. What's up, Joe? You're feeling it. I can see it in your eyes. You're a born again predator. Feel that blood bubbling inside you, lifting you up. That's it, kid. That's what it's all about, right there. It does feel good. All right, now you got the blood. You're feeling all kick-ass, feeling better than your best day living. But wait, it gets better. All kindred. Kindred. kindred that's our word for I'm vampire. vampire. Yeah, I'm kindred, all kindred dude. Have a few things in common. Things set them right square above humans on the food chain. All right. Yeah, like what? Like sharper senses, a body that can take a beating, and if you play your cards right, eternal life. That's no sure bet, but still a chance mm. of immortality is not a bad deal. And that's just for starters. French benefits for joining the club. Well, you can still be destroyed, but forget the books and the movies. Garlic, worthless. A cross? Pfft, shove it right up their ass. Ha! <laughs> the steak? Only if it catches you in the heart, and then it just paralyzes you. Running water? Eh, so I no. see. Occasionally. Now, a shotgun blast to the head. Yeah. Oh, that's trouble, boy. Fire? That's real trouble. Really? Well, you get to sunrise and it's all over, kiddo. Yeah? Really? Alright. Okay, now. Get inside here. Okay, got it. Press the space. Jump onto the boxes against the wall and to the walkway above. Okay. Ah, old video game controls. Your feats are the combinations of various attributes and abilities. The higher your feats, okay, the better you are at the, okay. Use E to pick up the lockpick. Why are they shooting? Come down here. Stay away from the windows. Oh, it's a Sabat raid. Sabat. They're uh God, Christ, I was hoping to spare this shit to layer. Uh, the Sabat. Well. Are these like um mindless bloodthirsty assholes? That's all you need to know for now, right? Jesus, kids. The Sabbat got wind of the gathering here, so they figured they'd raise a little hell and put a little heat on the new prince. prince. Okay. Yeah, what is he a prince no of? Time for political rundown. Job one, get out of here alive. Sabbat might be mindless, but they hit like a Mack truck, like raging savages. Nothing a fledgling like you wants to mess with. All right. What am I supposed to do? Shh, shh. Heads up. Back away. So they're still vampires. <laughs> Dude, the effects, the graphics, it's awesome. Bro summoned magic wolves and shit. Sabat bastards. All right, we gotta have a moose out the back quick. I'll stay and keep a watch out. You get us into the office. The door's around the corner here. Door's around the corner here? 
he said. Lockpick. So it's simply a matter of do... It's just, so it's not like a thing that I have to do. It's simply like, do I have the, the points for it? Okay. <laughs> How is he already in? Dude, I love, I love old ass games though. <laughs> oh, he said he had a shortcut? Oh, okay. Yeah, I had my moments, man. Cool. Now, if you want a lesson on how really not to act, take notes from those sabat assholes. You're a big bad vampire. Yeah, great, congrats. Now keep it to yourself. You go roar and you beat your chest and that's what you can expect. I mean, it... Wait, I've still got that list of people from high school. Why not? It's the same reason you don't let humans see you feeding. It's why the wolf doesn't want the sheep to know he's there. It's also why you don't go juggling dumpsters or outrun the 815 from Sacramento. And it's, and it's why you didn't know any of this when you woke up this morning. Keep our secret secret and you make things easier on all of us. Mm. We're living in the age of cell phone cameras. Fuck ups ain't tolerated. Makes sense enough, right? It is pretty hard nowadays to get away with a good feed. Everybody's got cameras and shit around. What do you mean? What could happen? Party back there with the guy in the suit and the Magilla Gorilla. The assholes that put your sire to death. That's the camera. Magilla <laughs> Gorilla. They make a tidy business out of enforcing vampire laws like this one. Hmm. I wouldn't say that they're good yeah, guys. I'll tell you what I think some other time, maybe. I like to let people form their own opinions. All right, what next? All right, now don't worry, because I know the area a little. And you know what? I'm glad we're in this situation, you and I. It illustrates a point. You gotta utilize your surroundings. Okay. You do what you gotta do. Theft, yeah. destruction of property, breaking and entering. <laughs> These will be the least of your sins before the night's out. So look around here. You gotta get out the back there through that magnetically sealed door. There must be a key someplace. I'll find a key. Area indicator. The icon to the left indicates that you're in a combat area. Combat, anything goes. Masquerade, respect the masquerade. Elysium. The word Elysium finds us yet again. I'm still getting comments on the Disco Elysium playthrough. Still really appreciate all of that. All the sentiments being uh, sent over. Um, I will, I think I will definitely do another Disco Elysium playthrough. Um, but I'll make that a Patreon exclusive once I'm back on my feet. Once I move somewhere and I can and have a space where I can do all this again and I can get a new computer and stuff. Um, yeah, we'll do that. In masquerade areas, breaking the masquerade can carry dire consequences, such as the attention of vampire hunters. After five masquerade violations, your game is over. So this is a combat area, so anything goes. Die, my darling. Guy, we need to go. Well, we don't. We don't need to go back to that era, but it was good. Computers are each computer will. Okay, so I didn't spec into computers at all, and I should have, perhaps. Yeah, I don't have any hacking whatsoever, so this might be. Oh my god. I don't have it. I don't have it. Skill too low to make it a tab. Okay. Need to get into this safe. What is this? What is this? Can I read this? Password chop shop. Kind of nutty to leave the password out like that. But, uh, you know, All right, let's get into the computer again. Unlock. Okay. All right. Take that. There we go. Now take that key card and head out the back. I'll meet you out in the alley there. I'm gonna check out things from top side. So they still fighting? I got it. Did I just get killed? I've been wounded by the Sabbat. Your blue rip okay, health. Yeah, I got a little neck, dude. Look at them potholes. Those will close up soon enough. Better feed, though. Yeah. <laughs> There's someone down the stairs here. Not, not the freshest, freshest catch, catch but he'll do. Well, when it comes to feeding, it's quality blood you're looking for. Okay. 
Bombs and low life don't pack the same punch that a healthy, well bred human will. Really? Juice bags with a pedigree. That's the good stuff. But you gotta take <laughs> it. Dude, even in the <laughs> vampire <laughs> world, <laughs> academia, <laughs> Uber Alley's, huh? Remember what I said, though. Don't kill them. At least not the innocent ones. You're a monster now. Make no mistake. One of the damned and the fallen. You need to hold on to every last shred of humanity you have. Do I? An innocent's an innocent. You kill one, even a worthless bum, even by accident, and it's gonna cost you a piece of your own humanity. Bring you closer to that beast you got welling up inside you. That beast? What is that beast? The beast? It's always there, waiting to take over. When it does, it's like a wild animal wearing your skin. So is it like a frenzy? Scared, reckless. He'll do anything to survive, and it's you that has to deal with the consequences. I-I-I-I said innocent humans. If some asshole levels a 12-gauge your way, you drain him. You drain him, skin him, and bash in his skull. That's what I always say, dude. The final part of humanity, after all. My favorite part, in fact. Interesting. Dude, I love his little laugh. The only way to fight the beast is to keep in touch with your humanity. Don't, don't go hungry. It's a fine line. Got it. All right, now go feed. God, dude. Careful, though. He's gonna drain fast. All right. Sure. Hey, man. Just top me up a little bit. Oh, that's enough. Thanks, man. All right, we're good. I used to be. I don't know. How do I? How do I describe? You think I'm kidding? You can survive feeding on animals if you stomach that kind of thing. Ugh. Worse than a bum's neck? Well, give it a try. I don't know that I want to feed on a, a rat. Let's start! Interview with a Vampire. Dude, I watched that movie. I don't know what I was expecting when I watched Interview with a Vampire. I thought it was going to be like a cute little comedy. Turns out it's a Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise being gay vampires and raising a daughter together. You guys ever seen that movie? Not the remake, the original. Brad Pitt goes around feeding on little rats, dude. Why rats? Humans do not react well when they see live rats being sucked on? Yeah, I'm sure. Jihad for beginners? <laughs> Dude, I'm already on some list because my homeboy bought the, the cookbook with his mom's PayPal account and the FBI froze their shit. Yuck. I can't be seen reading something called Jihad for Beginners, man. What color? They're gonna get me. What's up, man? How many more rats do I gotta feed on? More? When Twilight came around, when Twilight was in its heyday, dude, I wanted to read that shit so bad, but my family is so hyper-Christian. Like, they wouldn't let me. So I, uh, I, I borrowed somebody's hardcover of Twilight, took the cover off, replaced it, and my ass was in church reading Twilight, dude. <laughs> you rat sucker. <laughs> hey, I don't care what you do, but just so you know, polite vampire society looks down on that. I mean, understandably. Yeah, I don't blame him, dude. I'm not trying to be a rat sucker. Not too much of a threat by himself, but you never know if there's more in shouting range. You're gonna have, gonna to, have sneak to sneak past. past. So this is like a tutorial. It's pretty... I think this is a fair, like... I like this sort of tutorial. It seems fairly diegetic that, you know, I'm a new vampire. Somebody would be teaching me the ropes. Sneak where? The building across from us with the garage door. There's some double doors on the far side. I'll meet you inside. Just stay low and, and stick, stick to, shadows. to the shadows. Don't, don't let him see let you. Him see you. All right. All right, go. See, I was in I was in church reading Twilight, you know. That's the kind of emo I was. Checking out those uh Tumblr blogs about how to become an airbender and or how to become a vampire, dude. Nothing quite like the good old days of being an emo kid. This sneak and walk animation is some insane shit. Hey man. What is bro holding? Is he gonna turn around at all? 
Oh putain merde The double the oh fuck shit fuck what the fuck Oh this is I'm supposed to get past him Oh ooh ooh Hey man can you fucking move again? Can I do something to distract him? Alright, fuck it, we're just gonna. Bro fucking knocked me on the fucking head with a <laughs> crowbar. Bonk. One eternity later. Dude, when I tell you this was one of the hardest feats I've had to accomplish in any game. <laughs> The detection nodes are so sensitive. All right, well. Keep it quiet. They're inside here. Seems that shovelhead outside just got separated from his pack. He's Ooh, wounded too. Go, go take, take care him. of him. He's probably greener than you. He's probably greener than I gotta go fight somebody. That's pretty green. Really? Probably just turned and beaten over the head. They like to do that, make shock troops, cannon fodder, put him out of his misery. That's interesting. That's so interesting. Uh, he is a vampire, so be ready. I see. Go get him. Hey, that's my line. To engage in combat, you need to equip your equip your fists. Hey, man. Oh! Man, get it, boy, boy, if you don't, dude, wait, I, I'm not even specced into fighting. I think I just, tire iron. <laughs> All right, dope, All right, I got his ass. That feels good, because bro actually bonked me over the head so much. Better head underground and void stray bullets. All right, head down into the basement through the grate in there. Keep that tire iron handy. I'll be there in a minute. Do the great, yeah. My favorite thing about this game is it kind of is like sometimes just doesn't work or is like very sensitive, you know. It genuinely does add to the like the fun. It's part of the frustration, but also what color? Any proficient stealth kills? Can I? Can I get that stealth kill on, bro? No? Whatever. Bonk, bonk. Wait, really? Dude, these poor Sabats. They just get, like, turned and then bonk over the head. It's really interesting. Sounds like the Sabats getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them hold up. All right, more the merrier. It's interesting that the different types of vampires and different clans have uh, even different modes of turning or like con or introducing people to the world. Um, it seems like really fleshed out so far, and that's super interesting to me. Disciplines are your vampiric powers. This icon indicates the discipline that you have currently selected. Blood buff gives me strength. Okay, I see. So it's like a it's like a plus one d four, right? So this lock is too difficult for me to pick. Okay. Failed still, despite my blood buff? This is cooked. So what do I do if I just don't have the skill? <laughs> Fucking open. Open up. <laughs> Fucking open up. <laughs> You know, the thing I'm learning about myself when it comes to this game is I'm a complete fucking dumbass. Okay, lockpick, and then activate blood buff. Imagine that! Holy sh- Imagine that! Activating your powers to use them novel concept, actually. Toreador have three unique dis disciplines. So this is also a really interesting part of the game to me. Uh, second sight allows you to see the auras of others. Celerity gives me supernatural speed. And presence, the mystical projection of... Okay. The guard is in the next room. Use auspex to see his aura through the wall. Okay, so they tell you... 
Yeah, you know what? Never mind. I'm not gonna complain. I'm just gonna we're just gonna chalk it up to I'm a dumbass. Alright, we gotta use Auspex. Oh, that's him. Did I just catch you wanting to be shit? No, get off me! Get off me! Get him! He's guarding. Holy Jesus. I actually need to feed. I think they're clearing out. There's no need to go stirring up the hornet's nest till we know the score, though. Head through here. Come to an elevator around the way. All right. I'll meet you over there. Don't let him catch you. Don't let him catch you. If I'm not there in 10 minutes, call the president. I like the dialogue lines in this game. Use presence to frighten him. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Where is he at? Aren't you literally scared of me? Dude is kung fu kicking me. Come on, man. Dude. Just fucking die already. Jesus. It's just turn-based combat. Jeez. Oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Come on. No, don't let me die here. Not like this. Not, not like this. Not like this. Actually, not like this. Holy jeez. I'm sure there's more to the combat system that I have to learn, like combos and stuff. Okay. Celerity. Do not use celerity in masquerade areas. Okay. Celerity is very effective when used with a weapon. For example, a tire iron. I'm gonna die, actually. Aren't I in celerity? Do I have to keep activating it? Running, we're cutting it real close. Is bro in here already? Sneak through the room and leave. Okay. All right, we sneak. Dude, I, what are these, uh, cans of sardines? Can I be honest with you, chat? I fucking love sardines so much. Like, it's not a bit. Like, it's depressing to me how much I love sardines. Hey, man. Uh, get me through this door, please. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking humans. Gangbangers protecting their turf. Oh, man. I'm here thinking it's Sabat moving up in here. It's the fucking locals about to take one for the hood. Take one for the hood. What do we do? Yeah, they probably seen too much. Here, take this 38. Fucking pea shooter, but a few shots in Wait, I had, you had a gun this whole time? You got me walking around with a tire iron? So don't go die and lose it. I don't use guns much. They're noisy, they're clumsy. And useless Black against useless vampires. vampires. But you talked about... Alright, well, I guess the shotgun's different. And in modern day Los Angeles... That, that means coming strapped. strapped. Well, you know, some are more lethal than others, of course. Shotguns, Watch right. Out those shotguns. Ouch, those things can smart. Those things smart, I'll tell you. I hear you, Head man. Clear out what's left of them. Can't have them running their mouths about any of this. I'm gonna make sure there's no stragglers around outside. All right, I want to feed. I'm going to feed on this rat. I can't believe it's happening, but I'm going to be a rat sucker, dude. Okay, we got to head upstairs. Um, yeah, I'm sucking. This mouse has a... This rat has a white aura and a blue aura. Come here, man. I can't believe this, dude. One for the hood. Uh-oh. Oh, Ro Ro Raggy. Oh, that man, give me this. Hey, pick up the baseball bat. Where's old boy? Where are you, buddy? Hey. 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 You're shooting me, but guns are useless against vampires. Didn't you hear? 
Come oh, what's wrong? Oh, oh, lo siento. Hello. Combat is not the only solution for a sticky situation. You can use your feats and disciplines and dialogue. What color? So yeah, I can I can just do persuasion, intimidation, seduction. All right. That's fine. I got me a new. I got a new gat. What's up, man? That's it, kiddo. Just like that, and it's all over. Everyone, Everyone slinks, slinks back, back to their corners of the city for the night. Until the next night, when the Camarilla finds some way to strike back. Barry, Barry Dodge, Dodge Spin, and, and all that. So on and so on and so on. All right, well. This is normal. Well, to be honest, we came at a, uh, an interesting time, let's say. The Camarilla, the Sabat. Well, in L.A., these are the new kids on the block. There's already plenty of kindred at stakes down in California long before them. Really? Now, so what are they doing here? Every ancient kindred rivalry playing out all over the city. A lot of tension out there. A lot of fear. A lot of jittery, high-strung predators clinging to their little pieces of eternity. Of eternity. This is a really interesting premise. Uh, I know it's like a vampire game, but... Uh, I think they're looking for you outside. Guess you've got a cab to catch. Was so we're heading off to Santa Monica. Nah, hell, you'll figure it all out. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's this bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stop stuff down. that'll kill you. That's the stuff I'm really interested in, though. Prince La Croix. Hello, L.A. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to The Dead of Night. The only girl who will spend the night with you and me first thing in the morning, guaranteed. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Or am I the Sorry, boarder? Chad, I am. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Who will be the lucky caller? You've got the first shot at Deb tonight. So, who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? Hi, Deb. This is... Uh... Alright, it's over. Deb's voice, Vico. though? Vico? So, this is my bed. Dude, yeah. Deb's oh, voice man. got got me uh Got me feeling things. But we'll uh we'll leave it here for now. That was a nice little tutorial. We're in a masquerade zone, so I can't fuck around. I don't remember what's rules for the masquerade zone, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will have an episode of Como se dice? Outer Wilds up later today and then tomorrow I should have an episode of Lisa going up as well so i will see you guys then as i like to say at the end of every video stream or whatever thank you guys for watching take care of yourselves and each other skate fast when you can take a break when you need to and remember if you ever get tired out there you can always come right back home here to the chad mafia hideout